graves in a place like this. Interesting and very strange. Wait! No names on any of these. Maybe there were, but not now. Well, this is a hell of a set piece, too. Look at those gnarly trees. What are you doing, for God's sake? I, I don't get it. They're not an agent. They're just a ghost. Okay. Now nah, let's go in, shall we? Okay, that was fun. These are the people I've read about in Nicholas's diary. Walter Gilman. Jacob Hyde. John Norton. Ah, so this is how you get to the fire watch. Is this a cemetery? Looks like nobody's come here for a long time. Oh. <laughs> right, this game was kickstarted. These are kickstarter backers. It, um... I'm sorry to break any immersion you might have, however. Hentai Fox. This person's name is just their Twitch channel. <laughs> oh, that has a name. Otar. I wonder if that... These are also Kickstarter backers. Oh yeah, Death Mule. Okay, that's definitely Kickstarter backers. <laughs> I don't think one of the locals was named Death Mule. Nor was one of the locals named AQW409. <laughs> okay. No neat reason to read any of them, really. I just want to find out if there's a chest here. I don't think I'm going to find any lore here. Ooh! Oh, hell yeah! Secure. Man, finally. Now the most important thing. They've got their people in hospitals and police stations too. Remember when one of ours, something something, had an accident and was put in a ward with a minor fracture? He died the next day. Supposedly due to an embolism that was diagnosed too late. They get rid of us whenever they get a chance. If you see a police officer, a paramedic, or a sheriff come around you all of a sudden... Uh, giving some significant reason for their presence, you know they've got you. You can trust no one. Your family, your superiors, even your co-workers. My days are numbered, but I hope they can't get you. Hey, I got an achievement. Uh, achievements aren't captured on for you, but... Yep, got, got an achievement. Woohoo. So this isn't how I get to the fire watch. This is just how I get back down to where I came from. The whole area is just like a bonus thing. So if I didn't go there, I wouldn't have... We wouldn't have found out that everybody that I've been reading about is like... Including our wife is... I don't know, is what? 
Our wife wasn't actually there. The grave was dug up either for them or they were dug out of the grave. I don't freaking know. I have no idea the significance of what I just saw there. Any anyway, how do I get to this dang fire watch? I guess I do have to go through this way and then find a way up because I can't open that thing. Yeah, it says fire watch this way. Nice thing is I don't need to search around for any bonuses really, now that I've got all the chests. Ooh. Is locked now. I'll follow him some more. Oh, I saw like a microphone recording equipment and stuff. See what the view's like up there. Damn, I'm not really scared of heights, but I better be careful. Oh yeah, this was this was totally, totally, totally inspired by the Firewatch Tower from the game Firewatch. Before I look at the view, let's, um, take care of inside so I can get rid of the, like, scratchy noises and stuff. Oh god, Jesus Christ. Scared the shit out of me. Is it like above us? Looks like he was hiding something in here. Looks like he was writing on this. Okay, well, now that that's all gone, let's look outside. It's kind of... foggy, I guess? Ooh, can we look through this? Yes! I shouldn't have left her alone again. Damn, that thing can really zoom. Look 
look at that like frosted bit of the lens like is that the lens itself or is it like a reflector in the back part of the flashlight it's probably a reflector anyway whatever it is it looks cool to the house cabin hope it will open the door to the cabin down there this must be the key to the house let's see what he's hiding there well first I gotta look around oh, that counter is so glossy Can I open it? It shows as not being locked, but eh. It's stuck. Oh, even the spices you can pick up. Pepper. What kind of spices we got? Curry. Is it also pepper? Also pepper? Am I reading that right? It's a weird font. I'm looking around for, like, Easter eggs. Seems like a high potential place for Easter eggs. I mean, I guess everything in here is kind of an Easter egg. Henry says, Care will prevent 9 out of 10... Woods fire. Woods fire? Okay. find out how to open that goddamn basement. Okay, so I'll storm in and give the guy hell until he tells me everything. I just hope his English is better than my Russian. Oh. Motherfuckers, they know everything about us. Everything. Fuck, they've been watching our every move. Even here, where we were supposed to be off their radar. Find the code and type it into the computer. Damn, oil it. 
That's probably the basement door. Where can I get the password? The door is locked. Enter the password. Password reset? Oh, this is so cool. I love that clicky sound it makes as you move around. So there's like a little... Yeah, there's like a square of letters in the top left, so obviously we're supposed to get some sort of a code, and the code changes all the time. Or what the code translates into changes all of the time. Yeah, we need a series of... Well, the password's four letters. can only be letters. And I guess we need a series of four coordinates, like A2, B3, C4. Sorry, I just love this sound. Observation note on Adam and Emma. Fuck, he knows every detail, just as if he slept in our bed. Adam woke up at 5.21 a.m., even though he couldn't get to sleep until late at night. Emma got up at 8.40. Then they had breakfast together. When she asked him if he slept well in the new house, he lied and said that he did. Actually, he sleeps five to six hours a day, sometimes less. It's not the only thing he's not honest with his wife about. Emma doesn't tell her husband everything either. Both claim they trust each other completely, but that's not the case. These days, you can trust no one, not even yourself. Photo of a car. He was already lying in wait here on the day of our arrival. All three have safely arrived. All three? Does this motherfucker know about our unborn child? Oh, this is a thing. Nothing in here. Need to find the slide. And then we're ultimately going to have to project it over here onto this pull-down white screen thing. I love that. Oh. Plus three minus one. Hmm. I better check what this lever is for. Oh. How the hell does that work? It closes all of the windows? How the hell? I guess I'll need that when I go to project, but not yet. Lost. I wouldn't be so sure. Did he mention the copies? Should have thought about that before. He already knows more than we wanted him to. The handler is concerned. We've got a serious conversation ahead of us. Who's behind all this? Since when have they been doing it? If they had me exposed, why didn't they steal the telegrams before? Oh damn, that actually turned on the light. Any others in here I can turn on? Huh. 
Oh. What is that son of a bitch up to? Lookout tower. Bug. Thermochromic pigment. It has something to do with temperature. It's gonna like heat this thing up. There's also a candle here, but I can't interact with it. I probably need a piece of paper to put there. He's marked the places with the relays on the map. It seems I've gotten rid of them all. So we had been bugged all along. Fuck me. Secret notes of a Soviet spy. He watched my every move. But why did he relate it this way? What's the deal with the changing case? Oh, we got a... Some letters are... A uh, capitalized thing. A. Found something under a plank when he took boxes to the attic. What he found is more important than he might think. E. Sometimes looks like she's afraid of something. She was the one who insisted on the move. He talked to D, but he has no idea. Had no idea D was contact somebody else. Let's just say I see and hear more. I'll investigate that further in a second. He's still confused. He doesn't know what my actions mean. He doesn't understand why I'm doing all this. He thinks I've got bad intentions. She thought something happened to him, called for help. In critical moments, it's easier to expose someone's true intentions. I can see and hear everything. No detail can escape my notice. The Cold War isn't just about nations. It concerns individuals, too. The Iron Curtain still stands between us, but soon it will be raised. That son of a bitch was sure he had cracked us, Emma and me. That's what the Soviets try to do, arouse suspicion among friends and relatives. You can trust no one, right? Well, we certainly cannot trust these fucking commies. Am I the only one who always finds it humorous? Commies, like, ah, oh, fucking commies. Damn commies, like... It's just kind of absurd. Okay, let's... Take a look at this. Okay, the capitalized parts all put together say... Adam, he still does not know about me. Adam, he still does not know about me. Not really anything useful there. My gut tells me someone has written something here, but I can't make it out. There must be a way to unravel it. Dad's got the thermosensitive ink. A book on encrypting. Someone has marked certain pages. Hmm. Dr. Lawrence Waterhouse, Cryptography, Understanding and Mastering Codes. The Spartan Cipher slash... Skytail, Skytail, one of the oldest cipher machines used in ancient Greece. It is known to have been used by Spartans, among others, hence its name, the Spartan Cipher. A strip of parchment was wound around a piece of chiseled wood. 
That way, only someone with a piece of wood of identical diameter could read the message properly. And then the one we've been using so far, the Caesar cipher slash shift cipher, technique named after the famous Roman politician Julius Caesar, who used it to encrypt his private correspondence. That simple technique consists of replacing each letter in the plain text by another a fixed number of places down the alphabet. And then Enigma, a portable cipher machine invented by a German engineer, Arthur Scherbius. Enigma combined electrical and mechanical systems. It was based on encrypting individual letters using an electrical pathway with spinning rotors to constantly change the signal route, route and code the message with a polyalphabetic cipher. Cipher texts encrypted with an Enigma machine were deciphered for the first time in 1932 by Polish cryptanalysts uh, Marian Rajewski, Henryk Zagalski, and Jerzy... I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Uh, their work helped Alan Turing's team break the Enigma code used by... Were mocked during World War II. I probably mispronounced a lot of that. Thermochromic pigment, a substance that changes color due to temperature rising or falling. Thermoch thermochromism was first discovered in the early 1970s when scientists noticed that some molecules or crystals may take different forms based on temperature, varying only in their optical attributes, which makes them visible only in certain temperatures. Invisible ink slash security ink, a colorless substance used for writing which becomes invisible on application or soon thereafter. That type of ink can be divided into inks that uh, inks developed by heat, inks developed by chemical reaction, inks visible in ultraviolet light, inks altering the surface of paper. Maybe I should check what this button does. Yeah, press everything. Oh, those are ultraviolet lights. Let's turn all the lights off. There's no reason to turn that off in there. Um, let's close this. Ah! Ah, hmm. Actually, there maybe is a reason to turn this off, although... How is the ultraviolet reaching all the way over here? From there? It's kind of weird. I'll turn this light off just in case. Even though, yeah, the ultraviolet shouldn't reach in there. Okay. What's the symbol? It looks like an eye. Is it like stand here and oh, like stand here and look a three. So that's one of the things I need is a three. Okay, but that's just one. Stand here and look D two. Okay, I need to be writing these down. It's two of them. I need four. Of course, we have the paper. I don't think that's one of them. That's... I think that's something else. Plus three minus one plus two. I think that's just telling me like a shift or something. It works. I'm starting to make out the letters. C1? I'm a little bit stuck. So, obviously I'm supposed to project something here. However, I need a slide to do that. I think that's the thing I'm missing, is a slide. I'm guessing it's going to project a combination, like, oh, right, I got rid of the black light. You know, A2 or something like that. And then I'm going to have to apply the plus 3 minus 1 to it, and that will probably give me the final fourth piece of the puzzle that I'm missing. Because right now I only have three. But I cannot find that freaking slide. Okay, I know what happened, sort of. I looked it up, 
this handprint is significant. The slide is supposed to be in this drawer. However, it's not. It, it must have bugged or something. I saw a video walkthrough and I saw somebody open this drawer and the slide was just right inside this very drawer right here. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here because I'm not sure when the next point where the game is going to save is and I got to do a bunch of stuff here again. And also, I kind of just like need to eat and go to sleep pretty soon. So I hope you've enjoyed so far and when I return, I'm going to hold on actually. I just had a tiny bit of curiosity tickle at my brain. Okay, yep. It's there. Anyway, yep. See you soon.